you wanted some new builds? Well, ah, uh, I'm sorry to tell you, bud, but I've got like six corpse skills and a couple bow builds. You know, I, I, I could spare uh, three champion builds and maybe like a poison pathfinder. So why don't we just get right into it? Okay, <laughs> you wanted some special snowflake. Oh, this cookie. Look at my cookie cutter build. Oh, I just, I want to have fun on League Star. Why is everybody such a metacog? Why can't you just do some, bro? I'm not here to make you feel special. I'm here to give you some good builds, okay? That's it. That's all. I'm not here to make you feel like a unique human being, a unique gamer. You are the only one. No. Okay, I'm here to make you Buzz Lightyear. Okay, I'm here to make you Ken, okay? Because this league start, you you are ken -uff. Okay, fucking remove that. Remove that one. That was <laughs> Let's just get it out of the way. We have three corpse skills that are going to dominate on League Start because they're the best. Why are they the best? Well, corpse skills, you get the gems, you get desecrate, you get the random monsters, and you're good to go. That's it. That's it. That's all the damage you need, man. Let's start out with the one I'm going to play. Cast on crit, detonate dead. It's an inquisitor. You need two gems. Lancing spray, detonate dead chaining. A five link, a diamond flask, and you're an inquisitor leveled up. That's it, bro. You get to plow tier 16 maps. Seems pretty good. It's what I'm going to be playing on this league start. Corpse build number two, Chain DD Necro. It's a hit-based necromancer. You get block. You get a lot of cast speed. It's pretty comfy, and it's hit-based. But it's hit-based with all that cast speed. You're going to have to be quick with it, but it's a pretty fun one. It's a pretty fast one. Check out. I'm pretty sure Ventruo is going to have one. Lily's got one. Ziz is going to put the Lily thing on his channel. Nick's got one. Ben will probably have one, okay? It's Chain DD Necro. And DD Elementalist, number three, okay? I got a Max Roll article. Nick's gonna upload his. I'm, I'd be surprised if Zizarin didn't do one. Okay, it's just Ignite DD. It's been solid. It continues to be solid. All you need is Vol DD. Okay, no Transfigure Gems. You know, getting a Vol DD, way easier than Trans Gems. Especially this league. And it's not that the Trans Gems are gonna be that hard to get, but... Harder than uh, a couple Vol Orbs. You need Ignite, you get Obliteration. You get Ignite Proliferation. It's pretty sick. Now, I'm going to count all those Corpse skills as one build, okay? That's not going to be included in the top 10. Okay, and if you want to know which Corpse build to use, watch Nick's video where he goes over all of them. Okay, which one to use? Because they all have pros and cons. It doesn't seem like there's a clear best one, unless you don't want to press buttons or you want an easier time bossing or you want to have a lot of block and be very tanky. Okay, build number two is... Build number two is Lightning Arrow. It's Lightning Arrow. Okay. They made it through again. Almost no changes. Okay. Havoc's gonna upload another six hour f eater run to not even six. It's like five and a half. Five minutes. Five hour, 40 minutes. Okay. God damn it, man. But five hours, 40 minutes to Exarch, man, with only right click. Now, I get it, man. I get it. If you're supposed to be pressing some buttons, you have an Arcanist brand, a Divine Blessing. Uh, some self curses, flame surge, wave of conviction. You've got desecrate. You've got DD. You got Vol DD. I get it. Six hours. You've earned it. On lightning arrow, all this did, all he did was right click. You have mana forge arrow for literally all of your shit, and then you have mark on hit, and that's it. It's lightning arrow and mirror arrow. That's all he did. He ran around and right clicked his way to sub six hour to void stone run. What the fuck? What the fuck, man? Okay, if that don't make you feel inadequate. <laughs> God damn, bro. All right. Build number three. After LA, what am I going to choose for the next one? Well, it's Corrupting Fever Champion, okay? Which I won't play this league start. I will not be playing Corrupting Fever Champion. CF Champ. It's pretty good. You're farming Delhi, and you're going to get a lot of skittering scarabs. Right? Pretty sick, man. All the new scarabs, you could be the one feeding the economy. I will not be, though, okay? I'm going to be playing Cock Duty. I swear to God, I'm not playing CF Champ. I swear. I promise. I promise. For real. For real. I'm not playing CF Champ this time. I swear. It's sick though. The only thing changed is automation instead of cast damage taken. That's it. That's it, man. You just use automation support and you're good. Okay? And if you wanted to do some tier 17 maps, let's say you play CF Champion. Well, what, what, what if I want to do tier 17? Play CF Champ, blast some map, blast some legions, all the new breaches, the legions, the heart the expedition okay it's sick all the atlas pages all the new scarabs you blast all that content and then when you want to respec do steel champ okay build number four steel champion it's got that crunchy damage okay 
and you're not gonna have to deal with like the early game before whatever right you grind it out on cf you get the nemus you get your paradoxica and your bell timber you get the brittle boots okay you get all that shit and you hop into those tier 17 maps and you got that crunch okay if you played steel champ you know what i'm talking about that steel champ crunch okay and you're deleting every boss you're deleting every all those special okay when you when six brutuses come up it's not gonna be ram ranch it's gonna be ram ranch and you're the rammer okay okay you are the bull in this situation okay you know what i'm you know what i'm talking about okay build number five explosive arrow <laughs> elementalist and champion okay it's zizarin's analog for how i feel about corrupting fever check out the tweet okay guys is it okay if i play ea i just want to build i feel the same way man guys is it okay if i just play cf champ one more time okay they added a bunch of new scarabs man i could be farming 80 percent deli skittering i wanted to do it on day one i really did i wanted to do it but i can't i've got i gotta not i gotta play something new and by new i mean a corpse skill of course okay ea ballista though elementalist you got palstron with a max roll article champion you've got zizarin with i don't know if it's announced yet a max roll article <laughs> okay <laughs> hey okay try talking shit about max roll now okay fuck you number five are bama builds okay it's just blink arrow mirror arrow it's sick okay because it's a minion build that uses bows it's a minion build that uses bows wow sounds like the best minion build out there that uses rain of arrows though so in the rain of arrows you have a little bit less clear but you've got some pretty good pretty goddamn good damage okay rise played it in the gauntlet didn't look too bad. I've seen some people doing maps, doing bosses, doing whatever. Seems pretty fun, man. You just get a bunch of clones down. They're shooting stuff. It's spammy. There's colors all over the screen. Sounds like my kind of build. Number seven is actually a new one. It's gonna be some, well, new for some. But it's gonna be an Archmage build, okay? Mana something. Archmage something, okay? You wanna play a mana build on League Start? I would do Palstron. Or Mr. Mana himself, Counterverse. You're going to have a lot of damage, and you're going to be pretty tanky. It's not going to have the fastest clear in the world. But I'll be damned if you're going to be locked out of anything in the game. On a mana build, okay? You're going to be able to take that puppy anywhere and everywhere. Okay, it's like a Jeep Wrangler. Okay, that Archmage build is all terrain. Build number eight. Extinguate Mines is a pretty good one. It's actually a pretty good one. Tuna is playing it. I checked out a couple clips, tuned into the stream. And it actually looks really solid. It's a mine build that has really good clear. And by really good clear, I mean your mines pop and the screen's dead. Okay. This man is clearing Legion on a, on Exsanguinate Mines. That's pretty good, man. Uh, like, honest to goodness. It don't get much better than the mine explodes and it instantly transmits to all of the nearby monsters. Okay. As long as it's got something to fire at, boom, you're good. Check out Tuna for that one. Or... You want hex blast mines. You like the purple colors. You like the aesthetic of like a ODST, like whatever the hell. Okay, I don't know. I played Halo a couple times. Okay, I think Ventrue is going to have one. And of course, we got a Max Roll article with Palstron and a video to boot. I'm sure. Why not? Number nine. Because, of course, you need some other builds. Okay. Something for the minion mains. Well, I don't have a single one other than Bama. Okay, I just say generically we have play a gazi or a balor mage minion build okay that's that's that is my recommendation okay i'm sure they have a minion build that uses all the minions i'm sure they got one that uses srs even post nerf i think poison srs people were talking about it's fine i don't know check out balor do whatever balor says do whatever gazi says okay who the fuck am i to talk about minion builds okay i'm sure they got a specter one okay they're gonna you're gonna be able to raise the new bosses as specters too that's pretty cool, man. That's pretty cool. Okay, you know what's cooler? We get to use those as corpses. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Neon. Oh, there's no way to not buff DD this patch. <laughs> I guess we'll take some extra corpse life. Thank you, sir. Thank you for ensuring Detonate Dead does more damage in Tier 17 maps. Yeah, I love that. They, uh, they didn't let the zone level increase the corpse life when we're spawning our corpses, but you know what they did do? They let the bosses, those, not the big ones, little Brutuses and the whatever else that shows up, they let us put those in our Desecrate pool. God bless you. Thank you for making Cock DD, Chain DD, 
Crit DD. Ignite DD. Poison DD. Even stronger. Okay, DD DD. All right, that's minion builds though. What am I supposed to say, man? Gazi and Balor, that's it. Number 10 is a Poison Pathfinder build. Poison Pathfinder. It's an archetype that works. And it's almost what I did this thing start. I was going to do BFBB. I was going to do BFBB Poison Pathfinder into BV Poison Pathfinder. And I was going to abuse the Vol Lockout Sexton. But unfortunately, they removed all of the Vol Lockout in the game with the Sextants. So I won't be able to play any more of that. Because it's not in the game anywhere at all. And I'm not baiting for YouTube comments. Okay, Poison Pathfinder though. If you want another Pathfinder build, we got a Max Roll article for one. <laughs> of course we do. It's... Toxic Rain Ballista Pathfinder from Palsteron, okay? The Ballista boy himself. Ballista is pretty good. I would much prefer Ballista to self-cast where I'm moving my mouse everywhere. I've got to like shoot the Toxic Rain pods. Nah, man, I'm just going to like put these down and they're going to do all that for me. I mean, <laughs> you know, I'm like, what is the point in doing all that work when I can just have little buddy here to do it all for me? That's it though. That's all the banger builds. Did I miss one? Comment down below. Comment down below if you thought I missed one. No. Comment down below if you thought one of these builds was bad. Comment down below if you think you're gonna leak start as one of these. Yeah, that's it. I don't know what you expected, man. I'm not here to make you feel special. I'm not here to make you feel unique and you're the only one using this ability and unique combination. No, I'm here to give you the best fucking build you can play on league start that's it period full stop these are the ones i think are the best they are tried and true i've been putting in putting them in every top build list for the last two years <laughs> the fuck am i supposed to do man you want me to give you some right like what am i supposed to do dude that's it these are the best there's a couple i'm sure someone will comment a couple but yeah like subscribe um how do i beg for subs now um, uh, what's the sub bag? What's the sub bag? Okay, I already have a girl. Okay, I think the sub number is big enough now. Okay, what do I, how do I beg? How do I beg for 60k subs? Uh, guys, please, 60k subs, because I'm, because I'm begging, okay? Because <laughs> I'm begging. I'm, I'm, I'm on my knees, man, please. 60,000 subscribers for no reason other than the number will be bigger and it'll make me happier. Okay, thank you. God bless the Pee Wee community and God bless America. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Oh, 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 oh.